Good afternoon, man. 25 Gamers. Today's uh, episode of Offensive Scheme of the Week. We are featuring our three-headed rushing attack out of the West Coast playbook. Remember, our team we're using this week is the Miami Dolphins. Look forward to a team breakdown and a full game breakdown this weekend. Uh, we have the stretch, the halfback blast. We put those in our quicks. And then we have inside zone in Texas that were already in our quicks. We just set them up nice and neat like so. Um, this is our setup for our three-headed rushing attack. What we like to do with this three-headed rushing attack, it's very, very simple. If they're not honoring the run, we're going to run the ball. You know, Here we're going to come out in a 3-4 just to show you a, a balanced defense you might see. So here in a situation where they're fully balanced, we're going to play a numbers game. Since we are um, somewhat offset, if you will, strong to the right, we're going to run to the right side of the screen. And we're just going to force them to have to zone blitz and, and really you know, play an inverted cover two type of approach. If for some reason they start to shift, say they start to shift, and so now we see that they're unbalanced to the left side of the field, this is where we're going to pop a halfback blast in and, and, and go to the left side here with this, this running scheme. And then if they are spreading their line, trying to set up pressure, which a lot of guys like to do, they'll shift their line to the left, set up some pressure here. If they do this, this is a very simple read. Two steps, inside zone. And uh, I think inside zone is one of the better runs from I-Form this year. Um, as you see it, just take over the game. And, guys, um, you want to come out and establish the stretch. Um, it's not as good as it was last year, but it's still more. It's still pretty effective. But in my opinion, guys, the inside zone is, is really one of the runs that you want to run if you can. If, if they're spreading, do not hesitate. Run the inside zone. You see the effectiveness of it against the 3-4. Um, and then we'll show you some show blitz looks, some things you might see from opponents. Um, here they're spreading. They got both edges covered, so I'm going to check down inside zone one on one across the board, and then Miller's into the second level, uh, allowing us to easily access those big time yards. That's very simple to gain this year with running the football, guys. Running the football is um, a lost art, I think, in Madden, and uh, it's been revolutionized this year. And it's great to see the the effectiveness of the running game once again. How do we think it's a little more, a little too effective? That could be potentially true, but. I don't think we. I don't think we can. Um, I don't think we can. You know, just say that. I think you know when we pass commit, obviously it's going to be more effective because we're committing to play the pass. Whereas if you just stay stay stock, then you, as you see here in practice mode, stay in stock. It's not super overpowered. You know, you have to have the running lanes and things to do that. So, guys, this is our three-headed rushing attack. The quick pass we like to use from this is the Texas. Uh, we like to put our outside uh, receiver here, Wallace. Uh, we're going to put him on a drag. And we're going to motion him across the formation. We're going to snap right before he gets to the tight end. This is going to serve as a nice uh, little pick route for our RB receiver for a little quick pass against man. Typically, the RB receiver will get more looks against zone. If they are in man coverage when we motion across, we're going to be able to tell that. Because B's icon will light up immediately and we can just use that against man coverage. Another read we can have against man coverage if we don't like the drag. For some reason we say that the defense has maybe over pursued and, and, and tried to use or control the drag route. If they do that we have that out route on the left side of the field. We're just going to easily progress on uh, to that. If that's not open um, then we continue to go through our progression. Typically once if that's covered that definitely means that this uh, route to Keller will be open because that normally will mean for cover two sync stuff like that, which the post routes typically will, uh, if the post routes don't beat the cover two sync, then the drags will. So one thing, one thing or another is going to be open. This play also, guys, it's it's a it's a workaround out of our uh, zone beating concept out of the Texas play. So you see how all the concepts are starting to work together. We're running the same concept for multiple formations, which is why I like this. Because we can do a lot of different things with it. We can shift and, and, and make things look like we're doing more than we actually are. In reality, we're just running simple zone runs and, and simple re, simple uh, zone beating concepts against this. So um, this is our base running attack, guys. Three at rushing attack. Check it out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, let me know. And also, guys, be sure to come back tomorrow. We have an X-Factor formation. I think you guys are going to enjoy it uh, from this um, from this uh, West Coast playbook. We have... Let's see, we've gone over our base play, we've gone over our man beater and our zone beater, and we're going over a rushing attack today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be going over an X-Factor. Let me pull up my schedule, see what I have written down here for the West Coast playbook. I think we are, oh, we have a really good X-Factor. You guys are going to be here tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you at the X-Factor, guys.